Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video we are going to be going through how to start a brand new free server over on minehut.com. So if you guys are interested in starting your very own 24-7 RAN free Minecraft server where other players are able to start it up when you are not there, then definitely stay tuned here in this video. With that said, if you are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe to the channel, make it gray, hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video, and of course, hit the thumbs up, make it blue, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So I do have one server that me and a few friends have started playing. I've set up a spawn point, added some seats protection, some claim tools, and some dungeons in the open world. I'll go over this in another video, but in this video, we're going to be creating Creating a brand new server and joining our server as a player. So in this video, let's go ahead and once you've created an account, you can earn credits by voting through your account every day, but you don't have to do that. You can just go in here and you'll have access to create two servers right off the bat. So here on your dashboard, you will select create new server. Now you'll give it a server name. So this is going to be our YouTube server and it looks like it has a minimum of 10 characters so we'll just say youtube serve then we'll go ahead and hit create <laughs> the name's already in use so let's go ahead and i'll name this vbme2 because our other one is called vbme so we're just going to go ahead and name this one vbme2 now mine hut is quite a bit faster than some of the other ones that i've seen you know pop up so there is our new server you can see that it has already started now unfortunately we aren't able to edit the server while it is in hibernation state and as soon as you hit activate it is going to begin to get the server kind of kicked off and it's going to get it starting and you know while it's nice to have it starting sometimes you just want to have it activated offline that way you can still adjust the plugins you can still add different functions to your server edit it without having it being online as soon as you shut it off within about five or six minutes if there's nobody on your minecraft server it does hibernate going back into a sleep mode so here we're able to hit continue our server is still starting now we could change the name here if we would like to update our server at a later time to a different name we could do that right here there are a few other icons down here that you can also take a look at here is where you would enter the operating commands any of your server commands it doesn't have what the actual command prompts are kind of doing in the background but here's where you would put in the op and then put in your character name your account name that we give yourself operator you could tell Mindhut, whether you want your server to be visible or not visible to the community. That way, if you are just starting your server from scratch and you don't have any spawn protection, you don't have world guard or a spawn put in, you may not want it to have visibility. That way, players aren't joining your world, they're not destroying everything in sight. You want to maybe make your server not visible by default that way you just don't have anybody going in there and messing up your world when you're just brand new starting up your world and then here here is your mine hut uh the server message of the day and this is what will be displayed on when you're connecting to your server so for example here you can actually type in here you know welcome to vb me server number two and you can make this a couple different, you know, you can, this uses any of the color scheme that Minecraft would use. And you can even add some cool little characters in there if you would like. And talk about whether it's a survival server or whatever type of server it is. So we'll go ahead and hit update here. Now there are a few other tabs you can go into, such as the settings. And this is going to be where, say, maybe you only want to play with a few friends. So maybe you only have a few friends that you want to play with, so you'll set it at 5, but by default I just leave it at 10 because sometimes, you know, I have 5 friends that play on our server, but then there's other players that have started joining our server and going out and exploring, and they like the survival style theme, and then as we're adding brand new dungeons, they try them out themselves. Now, level type, leave this as default unless you want to have a specific type of world. Here's your world name if you want to have your level 
be specific in there, you can do that right in there. Your generation settings, so if you have a specific type of world you would like to have it, you can go ahead and put in flat for a flat or customized for the rest. So you can put in your generator settings there. What type of game mode, survival, creative, adventure, spectator. Most servers are either survival or creative force game mode so you can force the game mode on your server so regardless of what players may have been elevated to in the past if they were in creative by you know an operator or it was you know by default somebody set it up as creative but eventually they wanted to switch it to survival and there are some players that hadn't logged in for a while and they were still in creative by forcing this server to survival and forcing it as new players or existing players join your server they'll be forced into the survival role pvp some players like to have this off by default as they're building up their world that way players aren't getting griefed on their server monster spawning i usually leave that as default positive animal spawning that's good flight do you want to enable flight or disable flight on your server. If you have it disabled, I believe, depending on some of the mods that you have on there, if someone jumps off a cliff and they're kind of just, you know, they're not flying, but they're kind of moving in the air, sometimes the server will kind of kick them out and, t you know, give them the message that they were flying when really they were just falling with style. Difficulty, I like to bump this up to normal, you know, a peaceful or an easy server. It's just really mediocre. So I like to either have it at normal or a hard difficulty. Hardcore, basically, you live for one time and then you're completely kicked off. You know, hardcore Diablo 2, I know that was a really big one in the past. Command blocks, depending on whether you want to have or not have command blocks on your server. A player achievement, so if they get some stone, they unlock the stone age. If they get diamonds, cover me in diamonds. You know, all those achievements if they want it broadcast on your server in the chat system. Now the world, do you want to enable nethering on your server, structures, resource pack? So you can actually have custom resource packs. You add these to your Dropbox, you add the URL to your public Dropbox here, and then as players join onto your server, they'll have access to download the resource packs resource pack hash if there's a specific hash that your resource pack uses you can punch it in there view distance by default is eight i normally keep it there that way that there's not players that have those beastie computers that are maxing out their view distance to say you know 30 60 and could just see you from the other side of the map for pvp purposes or just kind of spotting spawn protection I usually have this set at zero. That way it doesn't conflict with my world guard. World guard can't overwrite some of the spawn protection by default. So usually I set this to zero and then I add world guard, world edit, and some other functions on my server that act as spawn protection. Here's where you download plugins and install them on your server. Plugins are really nice. Some of the basic ones that everyone should load regardless of what type of server you have is the essentials x plugin this one gives you kits it gives you uh, we have to reactivate it so this is what i'm talking about if nobody joins the server for a few minutes it automatically shuts it down into hibernation mode so once we start this back up we'll go ahead and join the server and we'll go and continue on through the tabs here that way, you know, if there's any areas that we haven't hit yet, we'll definitely hit them. That way, when you're starting your very own server on your own, there won't be anything missed. So let's go ahead and continue. And let's go ahead and join our server while it's up. Let's go ahead and join over here. Now, our server right there is vbmeek2.minehut.gg. So we jump over into the Minecraft, go into Direct Connect, and punch that in right there. Join the server. And there we are, we are in the world. Now we are not an operator, so again, in order to become an operator, you go down here to the appearance, scroll down a little bit and type in op, and then your account, and hit the send function. That's gonna send operator over to your server. And here we can see that we made unchallenged a server operator. So now in here, we can go ahead and type in creative mode, game mode, creative, and now we have access to fly and create our world as we see fit. So let's go ahead, now that we're kind of logged in here, our server won't hibernate, we'll go back into plugins. So as we we're kind of discussing 
Essentials X is one of the plugins that I'd recommend all servers kind of have. This one has a ton of helpful and essential commands for your server, such as setting spawn points, setting player homes, setting uh, the ability to go back to a specific area. So you can give what permissions for players that are down inside exploring a cave or a dungeon they can go to their home put away items type slash back and they'll be teleported back to where they had initially set up uh, set teleported to home from so they quick and easy access to their base and back to what they were doing that way they just have little downtime this is where you can kind of get permissions for players to do a ton of other things on there you can set up kits that way when players join your server they get a custom made kit for themselves and has a ton of other tools and commands for you to kind of play with there so those are plugins you can go ahead and mess with that your file manager so depending on what sort of plugins you have on your server you'll be able to go into your plugins I don't have any plugins at the moment so there's not a whole lot to adjust in here your config in here the server properties cannot be customized from here in order to adjust the server properties that is from the settings and that just kind of gives you a little bit of settings that you can adjust in there but once you do have plugins in here so let's go ahead and install essentials x i would have to restart my server in order to have access to that folder but even if we install it here it's not until we restart it that the essentials x folder would appear here now we have our world so here is where we have access to save our world automatically. So for example, something's going on in our world, we need to shut it down right away. We would go in here and hit save world, it would save our world and kind of go from there. World seed, if you have a specific server world seed that you would like to have your, ser your world set up as, you can punch it in there. You could reset your world completely back to scratch by hitting the reset world button and you could upload your own custom world. Say you're working on something offline, you could do that by clicking in here. It'll go onto your desktop and then you could find the folder or the world file and upload it there as well. And then you have your danger zone. So here is where something is happening on your server that's not supposed to be happening. You can force it into hibernation. You can set up to repair some files, but this could cause some issues along the way as you're repairing core files that are preventing the server from starting. You may lose some of the recent changes that had happened on your server and you can completely reset your server back to the beginning this completely deletes and resets your entire server okay i just got kicked out of the server page where i was waiting for it to go into hibernation so as soon as the server goes into hibernating status it kicks you out back to your dashboard where you have both your servers or however many servers you have in here and that you the server owner can activate it because it is in hibernation mode or what one of the best things about Minehut is and that is that another player can come in here so let's go ahead and bring up my minecraft and let's go ahead and punch in the server address let's go ahead and add this in let's go ahead and add a brand new server and we'll type in vbme2.minehut.gg and we'll copy that paste that in there and hit done so here what can actually be done here is it kind of shows you it says that you can start via the lobby with forward slash join vbme2 so we go in and you're automatically going to be teleported into the mine hut lobby now i can go ahead and type in forward slash join vbme2 now at the bottom it says that your requested server is starting up you will be sent to it automatically so one of the great things that I don't see over on of the other server, the other free providers, is that they don't have a specific way of allowing, well they do. So some of the other pages do have an option that allows other players to join onto their server, but I know on Eternos they have to have their own login. So there we go. It just says at the bottom that we were sent to VBME2. And if I have another client in here as well, let's go ahead and bring up the other client. And there's VBME2. We can go ahead and join into the world. And he should appear here. It says in the bottom that our friend has joined. And where is our friend at? There he is, sneaky behind. 
the little tree right there. So that's Sneaky J. And it looks like we do have PvP enabled at the moment. So I didn't disable that so I could actually bash this guy. But we're not going to do that. So if I go back into my dashboard here. So let's go back into the Minehut dashboard. We can see that BBME2 server is online. I'm now able to edit it. So from the hub, we were able to type in that we wanted to join the server. Minehut automatically started our server up. It displays that there's two players on our server currently. And we can actually make ourselves an operator. So in here, I can type in op on challenge, send that. Now back over in my screen, so let's go ahead and head over to my screen. We should see at the bottom that we made unchallenge a server operator. Now we should be able to become game mode and go into creative mode. Okay, we went into creative mode. We're able to fly around, explore our world as we would want. We can have other players join our server. And again, if your server is in hibernation mode, it's not forcefully shut down. If I were to go in here and forcefully shut the server down as the owner, I would be the only one that could start it back up. But if you don't have anybody on your server and it goes into hibernation mode, that means anybody else out there can start your server from the hub. So that is one of the benefits of minehut.com is that you can create two free servers on there. They can have 24 seven access to your servers, not only as yourself, but as other players as well. And they can start your free Minecraft server from anywhere they would like from the hub. You know, they can be logged on any time of the day and from the hub, they can start up your server and join your world and continue to play just where they left off. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys haven't checked out minehut.com, definitely go check it out. I will have a link down in the description below. If you are brand new to my channel, have not yet subscribed. Also hit the red button to subscribe to the channel, make it gray. Also hit the bell to be notified every time we release a brand new video. And of course, if you do like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Really helps out the channel. It's going to help it grow. And that is it. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Let me know if you're going to be using some Minehut or if you use a Ternos or some other service. So that is it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.